it was really about it was really about um, crowds. That's where you could do anything when when you had to get big crowds together for scenes. That was when it got really tricky. And you know, we we hired a, a consultant firm called Pan Defense, that's run by this guy, Dr. Larry Brilliant, who um, used to work for the WHO and was instrumental in the smallpox eradication. So that tells you how difficult it is. You to, have to do well if your last name's Brilliant. Exactly, to keep your set safe. And they did such a good job for us that we had sort of, after a point, earned the right to go to Disney and say, "Hey, listen, we can. We promise we can keep all these people safe. Can we do these? You know, so anything that you see that involves a crowd on the show is the last thing we shot that season. We were pushing into late 2020, and then this happened. The good news is, is that we used that time effectively. Yeah, uh, by catching up because you know, as, you, as I, we've said a million times, Seth is involved in all bits of production and in the best way possible, which means he's got to sit with me digitally and edit. I mm -hmm. mean, used to be in person and you know do his thing. And it's we we're, we shoot like a movie. I mean, I, I know I keep saying this, but we we we're a movie. We're a long movie. It's just the way we, our workflow is. Yeah, I mean, I'm always this person that feels bad for the people that really suffered from that. You know. Um, I thought for a while we were going to get shut down because it was such a big show, very expensive show. Mm -hmm. And here we are renting three sound stages filled with these beautiful sets that, that you know, that, that they built. I thought we were going to be like, OK, we got to take it, uh, take one for the team. And because a lot of shows kind of lost their way during COVID because of money. Um, but, you know, we had Seth was nice enough to keep practically, I think, everybody that didn't get any work uh, on staff uh and and so i got it, it 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 was it was tough because i remember the phone call i got i was sitting at my apartment across the street from the studio and seth just went hey man we're gonna shut down for two weeks that's all it's gonna be they're yeah. just it's gonna be two weeks so i said cool i jumped in the car went to texas and thinking i was gonna be back in two weeks and three months later we're still there you know so that was tough it was tough to find our footing our feet again uh, but thank God for Hulu. And thank God for Seth and, his, and Fuzzy Door the believing in the show and, and, and wanting to keep going. April 2020, I'd had my, my pre-production appointments, which is you, you meet with the uh, makeup artist, Howard Burge. He said, oh, you still look the same, so we don't have to do a lot of changes with Davina's makeup. I met with the wardrobe, the cost, phenomenal costume designer. And uh, I was about to go in and film my first scene Mm -hmm. on and on that Sunday, I got the call. We're pulling the plug. The order oh. is shutting down. Yeah. So it got shut down for 2020. And yeah. they, they s s tried again to start up again November, later at the end of the year, but then the, kept getting it shut down. And then finally, I finally got to do my parts in April 2021. So that's the reason why there was that extra year because we lost a whole year. Everything was set to go and that was March, like March 5th of uh, 2020. Mm -hmm. And then a week later, everything shut down. Yeah. And so the issue was we couldn't shoot it when we would lift back up again in October because there was no actual way to leave the country. I gotta tell you, people forget it was scary. It was scary leaving your house it was scary going going to work with 150 people, and and you know you, your whole life was based on this little mask on your face, mm -hmm. and and you know at that time a shield too. We also had the shield before they realized they weren't doing anything. So it, it was uh, it was interesting, and and I guess the the best thing that came out of it was the fact that the cast and crew, if they weren't gelled already, we were all gelled together just trying to keep each other alive. So I think that was uh, that was the plus out of the whole thing. But it it sure didn't hamper what we did, what we did physically and, and you know, what the show looks like. And uh, and that's the best part. There, there was all these sort of ideas of how we we're going to do it. And, and, and you know, the, the guys have said it before, too, that we didn't really change the way we shoot the show. We were safe. We did all the safety things. But a lot of like if you saw a lot of shows that came out of that that era when people first came back, you know, nobody was beside each other. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they were just doing stuff that was just different. Yeah. And right from the beginning, Seth was like, look, we're going to come back. We're going to be as safe as we can be. We tested more than any other show, I think. We tested all, every day and weekends, so everyone was tested all the time. Hooray! Hooray! Enough!